It's a Fez, and welcome to uh, way improved camera quality, or at least I hope it's way better. I, I'm assuming it's like way better, because now I have an actual camera. And also, welcome back to It Muse. It, this should be the final part. If it's not, I'm going to be quite surprised, not going to lie. Uh, so let's just load up file five here. I'm back in the very nice school. Uh, it's the zombie... Arnold Schwarzenegger. Yeah, just, he's just your uh, advertising a movie. The feeling that something's invading your privacy, even without ill will, is still disturbing. I don't like this. It was Michael Jackson who was going, Ow! Dun, 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 dun. Bro, <laughs> my man. <laughs> I'm gonna hide in the closet. Uh, I'm gonna hide in this locker for the next of it, just the next eternity. Okay, never coming out. Hasta la vista, baby. Hey. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not. Oh wait, what? Locked. Okay, epic. Okay, epic. I was making sure my camera quality was still good. I'm not falling, dude. I don't care how much you want me to follow you. I'm assuming all the doors are just gonna be broken, so I'm not bothering with that. Nope. Nope. Okay, fine, fine. I'll be like a, be like a ninja. What if I happens if I run into them? Guys, nothing happens if I run into them. Let me, do, do, can I just pass? The other one's glitched. I broke the game. I'm, I'm too powerful for it. Just too strong. These are epic armadillos riding. Beef low. Just saying, like, that's pretty epic, not gonna lie. I'm assuming he went down the dark hole and he wants me to follow. Ooh, stack of leaves. Uh, is there a gun in there? That's not, those are leaves, it's not plants, obviously. I'm right, you're wrong. Okay, got it. Understood. Epic. Okay, stop it. You pay, just because your cow doesn't. Ooh, we have an rave now? That looked like a rave, like all the lights were just changing and... and that's some good sound, so we gotta Um Sounds like that sound from Mario Maker, like that Ow! Epic bro, epic. You do you man. Stop it. Stop. Stop. Okay. It's starting to be a little less joking, man. It's uh, starting to actually be a little weird and scary. Not gonna lie. Burp. I'm recording this. I have recorded all these videos super late at night. Just so you know. That that's why. Ooh, goody. Ooh, good. Oh, wait. Is that knack? That is knack. That is a knack and a half. I throw up a picture of Knack right now so everyone knows that I'm right and that's Knack. That is Knack. You, you know that that's Knack, right? That is Knack. That is Knack. Won't really do anything with Knack. He's just kind of here. Oh, oh, I'm doing something. I, oh. Why? Would I do that? Why? 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 Why am I being sacrificed? Can I move or something? Uga shaka, uga, uga, uga shaka, uga, uga, uga shaka, uga, uga, uga shaka, uga. No, you stay back. What are these things? They look like the things from Pikmin. Those things. That's what, oh, I don't like that. Knack? You knack, you better not be doing anything. Okay, I'll, fine, I'll give knack, I'll give knack to a 10 star rating. Just leave me alone, just leave me alone. I just killed them all, like a ninja. Like a freaking ninja. That's what I did, I just went in there with my ninja sword of epic power. And I was like, slash, 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 who is this? You're awfully quiet nowadays. Is there something wrong, son? No, I was just sacrificed to the pig god. Nothing. <laughs> Are you sure? There's something, uh, there's something wrong with you now. There's something wrong with your new room. Uh, I don't know. Like, every night I kind of go in there and I mean, sacrifice my pig gods to pig gods. And you're just like, oh, 
no. Oh, Dad, it's fine. Are you lonely without your brother? No, I love this torturous thing. You could have just said, Yes, I hate the sacrificed every night to the pig god. Everything would be fine. I woke gradually, the room once again dark. As my eyes adjusted, I could gradually make out the window and the door and the walls. Some toys on the shelf, and even to this day I shudder to think of, for there was no noise. No rustling of sheets, no movement at all. The room felt lifeless, lifeless, yet not empty. The nightly visitor, that unwelcome, wheezing, hate-filled thing which had terrorized me night after night, was not in the bottom bunk. It was in my bed. Bro, I think you're crazy. I think you're crazy. I don't see it. I don't see it. Nothing there. I opened my mouth to scream, but nothing came out. Utter terror had shaken the very noise from my voice. Uh, that's the Michael Jackson song. Um, you try to scream, but terror takes the noise before you make it. Dude, exactly like he was saying. I lay motionless. I lay motionless. If I could not scream, I did not want to let it know I was awake. I had not yet seen it. I could only feel it. It was obscured under my blanket. I could see its outline and I could feel its presence, but I dared not look. The weight of it pressed down on top of me, I, a sensation I will never forget. When I say that, hours passed. I did not exaggerate. Laying there motionless in the dark, I, I was every bit a scared and frightened young boy. If it had been during the summer months, it would have been night by the day. But the, <laughs> the grass of winter is long and unrelenting, and I knew it would be hours before sunrise. A sunrise which I yearned for. A, I was a timid child by nature, but I reached a breaking point. A movement where I could not wait no more. I, where I could survive under this intimately deviant abomination no longer. Fear can sometimes wear you out, make you threadable, th thread, threadbare. A shell of nerves leaving only the slightest trace of you behind. Okay. Threadbare. That's not a thing. Nobody says threadbare. I had, <laughs> I had to get out of that bed. Even at such a young age, you can be uh, actu acutely aware of what death is and intensely frightened of it. I knew I was going to die in that bed if I lay there dormant passive doing nothing I had to leave that room behind but how I should I leap from the bed and hope that it I make it to the door what if it's faster than me or should I slowly slip out that hot bunk hoping to not disturb my uncanny bedfellow realizing that it had not stirred when I moved trying to find the crucifix I began to have the strangest of thoughts Ooh, is there another chapter I, the abyss. So he just fell asleep again. Why am I purple in the recording? Fishy fish, I'm playing. Uh, I'm about to. My 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 camera's about to die. This, I need to hurry up. Come on, come on, chop 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 chop. Am I a fish? Oh no. Okay. I'm supposed to go down or up? I'm going down. There we go. Uh, let's uh, keep, but let's just keep swimming, just keep swimming, just keep swimming, swimming, swimming. What do we do? We swim for you. I don't like this. Oh man, I was about to say I don't like the same I am for the fourth time. Oh, I don't like that. Don't like you. Don't like you. That's a dead person. Uh, don't like that. Don't like you. Drain water and remove diving gear. Sure, why not? Now, see why not? How could that go wrong? I just I'm just thousands of miles underwater. Nothing could go wrong here. Yeah, uh, cool. Let's go. Let's go, Protestius. Hey, is that my dad? Wait a minute. Why is my dad here? What's with all the jellyfish? That's actually pretty cool that I have the choice if I want to live or not. <laughs> I'm assuming the other. Read logs. Sorry, Potowski, that is whew, that is a lot of reading. I'm not doing that. Nope, not doing that.
but uh, yeah, no more, no more Mr. Camera. Mr. Camera's dead forever. Not okay. I'll just start it up. But uh, yeah, let's, let's continue. I reached over slowly with my right hand and began to peel the blanket off of me. What I found under those covers almost stopped my heart. I did not see it, but as my hand moved the blanket, it brushed against something. Something smooth and cold. Something which felt unmistakably like a gun to me. I held my breath in terror as I was sure it must now have known that I was awake. Nothing. It did not stir. It felt dead. After a few moments, I placed my hand carefully further down the blanket and felt a thin, poorly formed forearm. My confidence in almost twisted sense of curiosity grew as I moved down further to a disproportionately larger bicep muscle. The arm was outstretched, laying across my chest, with the hand resting on my left shoulder, as if it had grabbed me in my sleep. I realized that I would have to move this cardiovascular appendage if I even so much as hoped to escape its grasp. For some reason, the feeling of torn my clothes on the shoulder of this night time invader stopped me in my tracks. One career once again swelled in my stomach and in my chest as I coiled my hand in disgust at the touch of straggling, oily hair. I could not bring myself to touch it in its face, although I wondered to this very day what it would have felt like. Dear God, it moved. chosen never to seek to return to the gross roads of that decision for even if one chooses wrongly the choice cannot be one made at a crossroad in life what does one do stand at the crossroad if you will but if you will not choose I'll move on without you wait, wait, wait do these guys act oh one's really ugly one's uh, Still ugly, but has less of a face, making them more beautiful. Oh, I see. Make one the wrong choice. Always move forward. Move forward. Okay. Okay. Let's gotta retrace. Um, always move up. Always move up in the world. Tomato man, you're back. You always scared me with those faces. So you know, scare me more. Are you a? Uh, oh, you're a sideways facing tomato man. Bro. Nowhere else to go. Oh, it's just so weird. Just, oh, what is this? Was this here before? Ah, uh, hello. No. Oh, wait. No, it's out of here. Jeez, I can't believe that's out here. This one. No. 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 Oh, what is that? Run that... right away. No, I'm not doing this. No, I'm leaving. See ya. See ya, Bowser. See ya. This one's bad. Oh, wow. That is a scary fish. That is a 
Yeah. That nope, sir. It's dark. It's all dark. I'm all alone. There's no one here beside. Oh, it moved. It was subtle, but it's grip. Oh, no tears came. But God, how I wanted to cry. As it, as its hands and arms slowly coiled around me, my left leg brushed along the cool wall, which the bed lay against. Of all that happened to me in that room, this was the strangest. I realized that this clutching grace it did, was not entirely on top of me. It was sticking out from the wall. It's glare. Suddenly its grip moved from a slow tightening to a sudden squeeze. It pulled and clawed at my clothes as if frightened that the opportunity would soon pass. I fought against it, but it imitated it. The arm was too strong for me. Its head rose up, breathing and controlling under the blanket. I now realized where it was taking me into the wall. I thought for my dear life. I cried and suddenly my voice returned to me. Yelling and screaming, but no, no one came. No! I'm dead. Sucks to suck. Then I realized why I was so eager to suddenly strike. Why this thing had to have me now. Through the, my window, that window which seemed to represent so much malice. From outside, straight to hope, the first rays of sunshine. I struggled further knowing that if I could just hold on, it would soon be there. Oh, that's a scary boy! As I fought for my life, unearthly parasites shifted slowly, pulling itself up on up my chest. Its head now poking out from under the blanket, squeezing, coughing, grasping. I do not remember its features, I simply remember its breathing against my face. Foul, and as cold as ice. As the sun broke over the whole eyes in that dark place, that suffocating room of contempt was washed, bathed in sunlight. I passed out as if scrawny fingers encircled my neck, squeezing the very life from me. Now, I thought this thing was like actually gonna have like some turnaround in it. It was actually like some good thing, but no, this thing's horrible. This thing's awful. Kill it. Kill with fire. I woke to my father offering to make me some breakfast. A wonderful sight indeed. I had survived the most horrible experience of my life until then and now. I moved the bed away from the wall, leaving behind the furniture I had believed would stop that thing from taking to bed. Okay, so it, the whole thing was in the wall? So there's a creature in the wall? I so dumb! Little did I think that it would try to take mine and me. Weeks passed without incident, yet on one cold, frostbitten night I awoke to the sound of the furniture where the bunk beds used to be, vibrating violently. Ooh. I lay there sure I could hear a distant wheezing coming from deep within the wall, finally fading into the distance. The following year I was given a larger room on the other side of the house and my parents took that room as their bedroom. They said they didn't need a large room, just one big enough for a bed and a few things. It lasted 10 days, we moved on the 11th. Got him. So yeah, like I said, the house was haunted, the wall was haunted, I predicted the whole thing. A game by Snow Owl, it moves. That's scary. Okay. Well, sorry my camera ran out of battery because it's gone. But uh, that will be all for this video and today, Tuskies. So uh, leave a like and comment a game or challenge or dare or something that you have for me to do in the comments below. So comment it. Especially the games. <laughs> but that are free. Hopefully they're free. I mean, it's free games. I don't do that whole pain and stuff. I don't believe in that, you know. Uh, I hate pain. Give me everything for free. Uh, give me my uh, Monopoly. Just give me just give me America for free. Yeah, that sounds fair. So, uh, yeah. Leave a, you know, you, you decide if you leave a like or not. If the was good, leave a like. And uh, subscribe for more amazing content. So uh, that will be all for this video. So until next time, salute. See ya. Goodbye, my Petroskis. I actually just saluted in real life because I'm so used to have the camera. But there is no camera this time. So uh, anyway, salute.
See ya. Goodbye, Bubba Triskies.